loud train. I don't even know if you can hear me for real. But if you don't know, now you know. My name is Sifa, spelt S-I-F-A. Pronounced Sifa, not Sefa, not Sifa, not Sophia, not, not Safia, none of that. Sifa, okay? So, I got me some McDonald's. And I don't know if you can tell, but the car, you can't tell, but the car is fully stuffed, okay? It's giving a uh, road trip. <laughs> it's giving a road trip, girl. But yeah, so today I'm gonna be taking, oh, hold huh. on. Let me take a bite, I'm hungry. So today I'm gonna be taking my first road trip by myself. And today is my moving day at LSU. So if you don't know, I'm a sophomore now. And I'm in an apartment, right? Hold on, this lighting is not it. Is that better? I should be better. But since I'm a sophomore now, I'm in an apartment, right? So we're gonna be moving into our new apartment and starting off a good, a good school year, okay? I'm gonna speak it right now. This school year is gonna be good. We're gonna get good grades. We gonna be on our A game, okay? We gonna be on our A game. You and me, we gonna be on our A game. So if you don't know, I live in Dallas. So from Dallas to Baton Rouge is a six hour drive. Right now it's 7.53. I was supposed to really leave at six, but I ended up getting caught up and like busy and like stuff like that in the morning and you know, having to prepare myself and whatnot. But it's 7.53 and we're about to leave. I'm, I'm thinking about leaving at like eight, maybe 8.20, something like that. Let me see how far, let me put the GPS on and see how far the thing is from my apartment or see how far we are from the apartment. You know what I mean? Okay, so the GPS is saying it's a six hour and 17 minute drive. Okay, so if we leave now, we're gonna get there at 2.10 which is okay, I really wanna get there at one, but things happen. I'm not too pressed about it though, but yeah. Oh my gosh, y'all. I can't believe I'm really finna like drive by myself. I mean, I be driving myself, yeah, but like for six hours, bro, that's a really about move of myself. Oh, and don't worry about my nails. One of my nails, as you can see, it's not even focusing, but it's my right hand, right? And look at my left, just plain. I had a long night and I had a bunch of minor inconveniences this whole weekend like for example my hair i ordered hair off of amazon they sent me the wrong color i'm not even supposed to be having this curly hair like i just had to put this on because like i needed my hair to look like some type of done and then my lashes weren't lashing the way it was supposed to and then last night i didn't go to bed till two because it took 10 minutes to do each finger okay so i knew for a fact okay if i was gonna finish my nails i was gonna have zero sleep and you know, I had to wake up real early so I could leave. All that stuff is gonna be taken care of when we move into our new apartment. But yeah, y'all, I'm so excited. Are you not excited? I'm so excited. So right now, I'm at a full tank, right? Now the GPS, it says it takes me like 400 something miles to get to BR. And my tank gonna take me 200. It takes me like 200. And the car is gonna take me 200 miles till it's empty. So more than likely, I'm probably gonna make another pit stop when I'm at the border. I think by the time I get to Tyler, by the time I get to Tyler, Texas, I'll probably be like down a quarter, down a quarter of gas, which is like two hours from Dallas, right? But yeah. Honestly, right now, I'm just trying to get some food in my belly because I ain't eat nothing. Oh, and if you want to see how I did my nails, and hopefully by the time tomorrow my hair will be done, watch the last video, okay? Because watch the last video. Even if you don't really care about my nails or my hair, still watch the last video. I didn't even tell y'all what I got from McDonald's. I never get McDonald's. I always get Starbucks. But the reason why I decided to go the McDonald's route is because I can get more food for cheap. So I got me like a cheese griddle, I think. Uh, excuse me. And then I got me a caramel frappuccino with extra caramel. It's not as good as Starbucks, but it's there. And I got me an apple pie and a little hash brown. For some reason, I'm having problems with my tripod. My tripod literally like, it's like the neck of the tripod. It snapped last night. So when I was taking off, when I, was, when I started driving, I hit the gas and the camera flew back. Like it's not stable for some, <laughs> I don't know why it's not. I thought I just heard somebody scream. But for some reason, it's not stable. 
so I might not really record myself driving all that much but I will check in between every hour and at every stop because we gotta focus on the road I can't be focusing on y'all I gotta be focusing on the road okay y'all it's 7 59 it <laughs> why am I yelling I think it's the caffeine and I'm excited girl come I need to calm down it's 7 59 which means we need to start our journey at 8 o'clock let me go ahead and check the family text the family group chat tell them I'm leaving got breakfast at McDonald's done eating starting my road trip now okay y'all y'all ready to go on a road trip with me y'all y'all ready can you really tell like the back is full I mean the back is full the back is full Oh, hold on, my brother calling me. Hello? What up, sis? Wait, hold on. Are you just trying to connect your Bluetooth? Yeah, it's supposed to be in the he in the thing. Hit yeah, up twice. That's what I do. Usually it just connects. Maybe it's because this is FaceTime. Well, double check and make sure your speaker is right. Yeah, I was just playing music. Anyway, today I just wanted to say hi and best of luck as you travel, safe journeys, okay? Okay. I love you so much. Enjoy it, alright? Software year is always fun. So you've already been there, you already know what's up, so just continue to have fun and focus on what you want out of college, you know? Yeah. You got it. And now you got you got equipment. You got your you you want to your own crib, you got your own web, like you can you can get active, you know, so yeah, we get active. <laughs> get active now, so enjoy, all right? All right. I send you a few. Thank you. Big travels, all right? Mm-hmm. I'll see ya. Bye. Love you. Bye. Love you more. Let me know when you make it halfway, and then when you make it there. All right. Are you stopping on all, or are you just going? Yeah, I'm going to stop at the border. All right, for sure. Okay, bye. Love you. Love you, too. Bye. Hold on, I actually gotta call a couple people before I leave. All right, y'all, it's time to go. Now the GPS is saying I'm gonna get there at 2.30, but that's because I had to like uh, sit and like, you know, adjust myself. Oh my gosh, bro, I really gotta drive for six hours. Oh my gosh. Do not enter. So why is it telling me to make a right if I'm not supposed to enter? Girl, that makes no sense. I'm confused. Why is it telling me to go that way? You know what? Let's go. So I mentioned earlier, um, whatchamacallit, about how everything, like I had little minor inconveniences, right? But I already know, like, I'm gonna have everything together soon. So I'm really not even like all too worried or like stressing myself out about that. Let's play some music. For some reason, I just been like listening to Usher lately. <laughs> I don't know why, but like, that boy Usher be in his bag. Hold on, I want to see if I can hit that high note. What he said, he said, ah. Boy, I sound just like Usher. Come on now. I body that. I body that. I'll be your group, baby. I'll be your
I hope you know you have my heart for life Forever and ever and ever What did boy say? Forever and ever and ever Never seen The car just started shaking. Oh no. I don't need the car to be shifting and shaking now. Why does it keep vibrating? Why is the car vibrating? Anyway, we made it to our first pit stop. We've been driving for about two hours now. So that means we're four hours away from BR. Right now we're in Tyler, Texas. And y'all, I was so right. I was so right. I told y'all, I told y'all even before we started driving, I'm gonna use a quarter tank of gas to get to Tyler. And that took me like two hours. And I was so right. But anyways, we're not gonna like fill up until we reach the border. Cause, and I know like by the time we reach the border, I'm gonna have like a half tank of gas. How far are we from the border? We like about two, Two hours from the border, I think. Huh. Yeah, we about a good two hours from the border. Do I look tired? I literally had like, I don't even know how many hours of sleep I had for real. I think I was asleep. Okay, so like I said, like I was working on my nails, right? And I didn't finish, I didn't finish this hand till two. So because of that, I didn't go to sleep. I had like, what? Two, three, four, five, six. I had like four hours of sleep. Do I look tired? I don't, I don't know, but it kind of started hitting me low key. This is how I know. Ooh, hold on, y'all. My friend called me. Hello? Yeah, what time are you gonna make it here? Oh, y'all, let me tell you how our apartment tried to make us live with this dirty little, with this dirty girl. Like, so my friend, she moved in yesterday, right? We're originally supposed to be, it's supposed to be three of us, but then something happened and they ended up putting the two of us with this random girl who had an empty unit. So we're in a three bedroom, three bathroom. When I tell you, when my friend sent me the video of the girls, like, oh my gosh. But this girl, her, she, the way she, oh my gosh, bro, I don't even understand, but she's basically dirty, right? Dishes piled up to the ceiling cat hair everywhere like it's just dirty like no and like you expect like you would think oh okay we got two people moving in to a new unit you would think like oh okay maybe i should clean up since this is not my like solo apartment since i gotta share this with other people girl no that she did not care and that's the problem like girl you a lady why are you living in dirt like that and you expect us to live with you dirty no so my friend went complained boom 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 and now we have a whole new unit but the only thing is is that we have to share a bathroom so it's a four bedroom two bathroom but i would rather share a bathroom with my friend knowing that the both of us are clean and we not trite rather than living in a dirty like environment with somebody who doesn't really care about her upkeep like it was so ridiculous i i want to show y'all the video but i feel like i would be wrong because her personal items and like her personal stuff is like in the video and stuff but who cares like girl you it's so dirty there's no reason why you should be living like that and it's thank too because she got a cat and on top of that the freaking apartment building didn't even know she had a cat no it's so much it was so much wrong like these little minor inconveniences y'all i don't know what it is but it's okay because it's gonna work out all in our favor i think we had a good break a good pit stop break i don't feel like i need to pee but i do want to get a sprite and i'm at chick-fil-a right now 
kind of like to give me some energy or whatnot. Thank you. Ah. All right, y'all, back on the road. They catch some blasts I don't drink that red or that green. Bring back that act again. Fuck the day she told me that she hate me, now she back again. Don't play around with love. I'm in a love spell. I need to be making a right. Trying to catch him. She was trying to put it in his food. Trying to trap him. It's probably like an illegal right turn. ATP, you play too much. Go. Me and they Jews don't but shit, we gon' make it. Bring that bag up to the roof, roof, roof. She like, like bag, you a dog. I'm like, roof, roof, roof. I was lame like you wheels. I hate me too. Let's go. Let me tell you about these Texas State Troopers. They do not BS. They ready to get you a ticket, bro. I literally saw another State Trooper while I was on the way over here. And then, I think I was going like 100. I don't even, I'm not even gonna cap to you. I was going 100. And then I saw that man, and he was standing there. And I saw him, and he saw me. I slammed, <laughs> I ain't slammed on the brakes. But I did slow down when I got down to like 80. I think I got down to like 60. That's how scared I was. Cause I don't got money to pay for a ticket, baby. Who, who got the dollars? Do you got the dollars? Cause I don't. Born in the 80s, crack baby. I was, she was in the streets, so guess who raised me? The streets. Yeah, all I seen the nigga get shot. Damn. Niggas quit to run, they you chase some bitch. Real bosses don't talk, we just sit back and listen. Paper up and then make boss moves. Yeah. She got the organ, so I sent that bitch to law school. Just the crunch you love, you see her set you up. Preach. I'm here in these streets, it ain't no such thing as love. Preach. The only thing I trust is just pills to end these shrubs. Y'all, this is how we gon' know we made it to Louisiana. It's when it starts raining out of nowhere, bro. One thing about Louisiana, it's gon' rain. It's gon' rain. <laughs> Like, it just be raining for attention. Like, why is it always raining? Like, right now, we passing through like a storm cloud. It's kind of drizzling, but I know for a fact it's supposed to rain like all week. And they be having so many summer showers. That's the thing. You walk out the door, right? And they'll say it's sunny, so you wearing like summer clothes. And then, out of nowhere, it just starts pouring on you. That happened to me, I remember last year, I had a crop top and some shorts because it was so hot outside. And all of a sudden, I'm getting poured rain. Like, rained on. Because the weather said it was sunny, right? It said it was sunny. And then out of nowhere, it just starts pouring. Like, the summer showers, they just come and go. No, and it be hot and muggy. And, like, your face gets all soaked in. I don't know how to explain it, but it's just not. gosh bro right now we're on our second pit stop where we at and we're finally in louisiana now we like three hours away so we're literally like halfway there like halfway there to be honest that last hour flew but it's 1108 gps says i'm supposed to get there at two 250 something probably might get there at three because i gotta take more stops but right now i gotta gas up the car because we're like we almost we halfway to be honest halfway i have a tank and now i need a pee i gotta pee so freaking bad i don't know if i should go to this gas station i mean this gas is 315 it's way cheaper because louisiana gas is way cheaper let me go ahead and gas the car up and then go pee and then get back on the road oh y'all pumping gas with nails is not as easy as you think probably didn't even think it was easy so i don't even know what i'm talking about i wanna go all right, so I just finished, you know, peeing or whatever. And now my car is saying, it's saying we got 335 miles to an empty tank. 
So, according to the GPS, how many miles we got left? We got 258 miles left till uh, we make it to uh, LSU. So, the next, I think the next time I'm gonna gas up probably when we hit alexandria i think well okay no that's yeah actually yeah i'm not gonna gas up until i'm in alexandria because right now we're in the border right huh let me show you the little map let me show you the little mappy map okay so we're right here which is what city is this wasacom we're in wash no that's in texas what's this what city is this no man's land city you're looking at okay greenswoodsville right we're in green we're in greenwood <laughs> what the hell is greenwoodsville i don't even know what i'm talking about we're in greenwood right greenwood louisiana so i guess the next time i'm gonna check back in with y'all when probably when i hit shreveport yeah because shreveport let me see where shreveport is well i'm gonna check back in with y'all probably like in like the next two hours or maybe when we're like right here but i definitely am gonna gas up when we're right here but like once i hit alexandria it's gonna be like the home stretch all the way to baton rouge and there goes my address but i'm finna blur it out yeah. all right let's go shout out my label that's me i'm in this bitch with tp i'm in this bitch with full trip wow. what that boy say throw the hood up and then we start off the phone on D on silent all the alerts off it's the best car move so i like my serve raw it's they merch off i don't bust out blind i got more paper than your big dog most of these niggas trying to take my life i tell you Okay, I know y'all saw how hard it was raining for them two, three. It was raining hard for a minute. Now look, it's sunny like it never rained. Like I kid you not, it was like a, I don't know what it is, but Louisiana be having like a bunch of random storm clouds. Like it's just like, it'll rain in like one section of like, the city and then you literally I don't know what it is weird ass little state <laughs> Y'all, I had to pee so freaking bad. So I'm driving, right? And then I look at the sign, right? And it says, rest stop ahead. So I'm like, okay, let me go to the rest stop and pee. Sweetheart, I take the exit and I forgot to make the turn into the, into the, into the, which McCall, into the rest stop. So then I ended up being on the road for 50 miles and I had to pee. I swear, I almost pissed on my pants. I'm at the gas station right now and I'm gassing up. This is going to be, how many, how long do we got? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I look tired because I am. I'm so tired, bro. My eyes are burning. I look so worn out. I'm so tired, bro. Right now we're in... What city is this? Hold on, let me look at my location. How do you say this? Apalupala? Girl, Apalupala is Louisiana. That's where we at right now. We're way past Alexandria. Like, I don't even think... Did we pass Alexandria? Because I was supposed to be where I was supposed to stop at. I don't know. Maybe we did pass it. Oh, well. But... Oh, yeah. We been past... Girl, we been past Alexandria like a long time ago. That's where I was supposed to stop at for real. But I ended up just pushing it and going all the way out here in Apalupa Lup Lupless. Whatever the hell it is. I don't know. I swear, they name it is anything. Uh, whatchamacallit? What was I finna say? Let's see how far we are now. Oh, shoot. We're an hour and 11 minutes away. Yeah. This the home stretch, y'all. I already know I'm finna blow past this hour so fast i need my shades because my eyes are burning like it's so bright but we've done past like three storms like it just be storming just to storm like it'll rain then stop then rain again then stop then rain again but anyways my gas is done pumping so let's go ahead and get back on the road bro i look like george jefferson with my hair tied back like this but i got my little my little claw clip <laughs> but anyways for this last hour I feel like for this last hour, we should dedicate this last hour to listening to The Last Slimito. This album, how long is this nigga got like 30 songs on his album? Okay, this album is an hour and 20 minutes, and I got an hour and 10 minutes left to drive. This is gonna be so perfect, bro. Yeah, I'm finna rock out. I'm finna rock out. <laughs> <laughs> know that I know oh, oh, oh. Who's that with me? No, I know oh, oh. <sighs> Y'all, I'm mad Y'all, I'm mad because I think I just lost signal My music is not playing anymore Probably because I'm in Apalupalupalus 
Louisiana, ain't no signal over here. Like my music not playing. Whatever, let me just get to driving. Finally moved in. It took me like hour, an hour, an hour, an hour. Probably took me like 12 hours for this whole process. And I still gotta move my stuff in. Let me give you a quick apartment for... Okay, right. So you walk in, right? It's a door. Front door. Hold on, let me turn the light on. But it's like the living room. You first walk in, yada, yada, yada. And then this would be like where the TV and stuff would be. And then you got like the little kitchen and stuff. And then that's everybody's room. And then my room, when we were coming in, let me tell you, this was such, this was such an upgrade compared to like what we were gonna have. What we were gonna have was completely terrible. So you walk in, right? Boom. That's the bed. Let me close this. That's the bed. That's the little area, desk area. I'm gonna move that and I'm gonna make a vanity mirror right here. And then right here, hold up, I got pants on, don't worry. And then here is the closet. It's a whole, whatchamacallit, full length mirror. And then right here, I'm probably gonna have like, this, I'm gonna have, I have a projector, right? And I'm gonna put that projector right here. I'm gonna get a little shelf to put it right here. And then it's gonna cast on the wall. And it's gonna be like a whole, a whole big thing, you know what I'm saying? But then you go on this side, little cubby area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got the windows, boom. This is like another angle of like the bed and stuff. And then you walk in. Say you need to use the restroom, boom. Restroom right here. And look, it's like you get the perfect, perfect angles. Perfect angles. And then this door has like the toilet in the tub and that's not really important but it's gonna be my side my sink got a little medicine cabinet right here and then extra drawers right here i like how it's hardwood in the living room and in the bathroom because i hate carpet in the living room i just feel like that's nasty for some reason but i'm cool with carpet in here so then you open it i think you already saw it low-key slide it slide to the left and you got the closet i gotta unpack these but right now i'm waiting for my friends to come and help me unpack everything from this car because i cannot i refuse to unpack everything by myself it is so hot outside it is so hot and it is a bunch of stuff and it's heavy and i really don't want to break my nails and like i'm literally <sighs> bro i sound just so dramatic but i don't care i'm not bringing all that stuff in by myself and we're at the top floor and our apartment doesn't have an elevator so i'm walking up and down the stairs up and down up and down with these heavy stuff in my hand i'm only one person and i'm already so little you think i can carry all that heavy stuff like y'all saw how much stuff was in the thing so hopefully like by the end of the night i'll be all packed up room will be you know beddings and stuff and whatnot, everything, everything be in this little designated area. Oh, oh you hear my back crack? Ow! Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, like the video. Don't be a hater. Click the like button and subscribe too because why wouldn't you not want to subscribe? Like, be for real. Why wouldn't you not want to subscribe? But anyways, bye.